We're gonna start on your mat, just seated, and just quick little warm up, but not much. You're just gonna reach underneath the legs, round in the back, chin to the chest. Just getting a little stretch through there. And then we're gonna take the hands out in front. So from here, a little warm up, but <clears throat> also really working the abs. So hands out in front, I'm gonna do a big inhale, open the arms up, lift the chest, exhale and release. Inhale and exhale. So really small movement, it's up to you. You can keep it pretty small. We're just warming up through the spine, but also engaging the abs. Inhale and exhale. If you wanna go down a little bit further, you can. It's up to you. And if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can bring those feet up and down. You will feel your hip, hip flexors engage. That's okay, our hip flexors are gonna be working a lot as well because they're connected to those ab muscles. Breathe. A couple more. Lift. Last one. Good, and let's take the knees out and just another little stretch. Let your head drop. Just press out gently on the knees. Chin to your chest so you're stretching your neck. And then let's take it all the way down. So we're gonna start with a classic Matt Pilates move. Feet are in tabletop, which just means you're making a tabletop, 90 degree angle. We're gonna lift the shoulders. We're going into the 100. So shoulders are lifted, chin is tucked, looking down at the abs, hands by your side, and just pumping the arms. And as we pump the arms, we're gonna do a big inhale for five, in through the nose, exhale for five through the mouth. So inhale and exhale. And what this is doing, this is just getting the blood flowing throughout the body, also working the core. As you can tell, just lifting those shoulders, you're really working the core. Inhale for five and exhale. If it starts to bother your neck, you can drop it down and give yourself a little break. And if you want more of a challenge, we'll bring those feet straight up. So still lifting, still pumping the arms pretty quickly. Again, we're trying to get blood flow. And if you want even more of a challenge, you can lower those legs about a 45 degree angle. Still pumping, still breathing. A couple more. And last one. And just hug the knees in roll side to side, little spinal massage. We'll come back to the stretch in between a lot of our exercises. So we're gonna bring those feet straight up again. Hands behind the head. This is gonna look a lot like your traditional crunch. Big inhale at the bottom. We're gonna exhale, lift the shoulders towards the ceiling. Inhale down. Exhale and lift. So you're gonna hear me talk a lot about breathing in Pilates. The most important thing is that you are breathing, that you have a rhythm. So. Just like all of our other exercises, we're mostly exhaling on the exertion. So on the muscle contraction, we're just trying to get a little more of a rhythm with our Pilates. One more. And relax the shoulders down, keep the elbows wide. So I'm gonna take the legs, I'm gonna lower on the inhale, exhale and bring it up. So it's totally up to you how low you wanna go. The important thing is to keep the back flat, abs pulled in. So if you can go a little lower and still keep that back flat, that's fine. If you want to make it a really small movement, that totally works too. As long as you're feeling the abs engaged and bring it up. And an image I'm going to give you a lot in Pilates is imagine that you have a string on your belly button, pulling that belly button down towards the mat, towards the floor. Or another good image is an anchor. Anchor pulling the belly button in. One more. Breathe. Good, and then let's put them together. So hands behind the head. We're gonna lower down, inhale. Exhale, lift the shoulders, bring the feet in. Lower down, inhale. Exhale and lift. So on that exhale, pull the belly button in, pull that string towards the mat. Anchor is sinking deep down to the mat. Breathe. Two more, let it drop. Bring it in, lift the shoulders, last one. Hug the knees in, roll side to side. Excellent job, guys. We're gonna stay here focusing mainly on the abs for a couple more things and we'll give them a little bit of a break. Feet back in tabletop, lift those shoulders. I'm gonna extend my right leg out and I'm gonna put my right hand on the inside of my left knee, left hand on the outside of the left ankle. 
Don't worry if you don't get it. Just pull it in for two, breathe, pull it in for two. So I'm breathing out, breathing out on each contraction. And I'm not bringing that knee in too far. When we get into here, that's giving it a little bit of a break. We're gonna keep it here so we keep those lower abs engaged. Keep going, breathe. Excellent. Couple more, four. This is your single leg stretch. Breathe, breathe. And we're gonna take the hands behind the head and go opposite shoulder towards the knee, so crisscross. So same motion with the legs. Twisting in the abs. Twists. Twist. So I want to keep my elbows wide. So I'm not just bringing my elbows in. I'm twisting, rotating in the torso. Breathe. Everything's pulled in. Back is flat. Four. Three. Two. Relax. Hug the knees and roll side to side. Excellent job, guys. So one more from here. Double leg stretch. Feet in tabletop. Lifting the shoulders. I'm going to take the hands out by the ankles. I'm going to do big inhale, everything out, 45 degree angle with the arms and the legs. Exhale, bring it around and lift. Inhale, take it out. Exhale. Inhale. This feels like too much. You can always just do the legs or just do the arms or give your upper body a little bit of a break and just do the legs or just the opposite. Give your lower body a little bit of a break and just do the arms. Just engaging the core the entire time. Breathe. Two more. Extend out. Pull it around and lift. Last one. Good. Hug the knees and roll side to side. Good, guys. So we're gonna give our abs a little bit of a break. We're gonna keep the core working, but we're gonna take our feet out. We're coming into a bridge. So knees are hip width apart. Feet are flat on the floor hands by the side, and we're just gonna start at the base of the tailbone and slowly roll up your spine, lifting the hips to the ceiling. So really take your time with this, coming up to the very top of the spine. Then when we're here, really lifting, squeezing, we're gonna start at the top of the spine and slowly roll it down. So pull the abs in, feel each vertebra as it hits the mat, ending at the tailbone. So we're not rushing that motion. So one more time, nice and slow like this, push into the heels, squeeze, lift the hips towards the ceiling, slowly rolling up the spine until you're at the top of the shoulders. This should be a straight line. And then starting at the top of the spine, slowly rolling it down, feeling each part of the spine hit the mat. So just keep that in mind. We can pick up the pace just a little bit, but nice, good form, squeezing the glutes at the top, then rolling it all the way down. So we're working a lot of glutes and hamstrings, probably what you feel, but also all through the core to stabilize. And also the bridge is used in almost all rehab programs for knees and hips and sometimes ankles, especially knees. The bridge is probably one of the best exercises you can do to be strengthening around the kneecaps. A couple more, taking it nice and slow, big squeeze. I'm making sure my hips are staying in alignment too. I don't want to be twisting at all. Slowly down, and we'll go one more. Slowly roll it up, and lift. And from here, guys, so you may want to bring your feet in a little bit closer, lifting those hips up to the ceiling. I'm gonna extend my right leg out. So trying not to drop on that, really lift, and I'm gonna lower down and lift up. I'm gonna keep my hands on my hips because I wanna make sure that I'm not twisting at all with this motion. Big push through that left heel. Lift, down, and we'll go two more. Lower the leg, push into the heel and lift. Last one. Excellent, let's extend that, let's switch that out. So right foot is taking the weight, left leg out. You probably notice one is stronger, this is definitely my stronger. Lower it down, and lift. So this is why it's good to isolate on the bridge. We often find that one leg is quite a bit stronger than the other. Good to try to balance it out. Good, two more. Breathe. And last one. Excellent. So hug the knees in, stretching the back. And then let's extend the legs up. Grab either on the thigh or the calf. Flex the feet. 
pull it in. So it doesn't matter where you are, just getting a stretch through the hamstrings, through the calves. So since we're here, let's go back to abs. Point the toes, scissor kick. So I'm gonna grab, again, calf or thigh, doesn't matter, just not on the joint. I'm gonna pull in for two, breathe, and switch. In for two, switch. Keeping my shoulders lifted, unless that starts to bother your neck, you can give them a little break. Excellent work, team, for four, three, two, and one. Good. I'm gonna bring those feet straight up to the ceiling, hands by the side. I'm gonna point the toes, and I'm just gonna draw a little figure eight on the ceiling. So I'm gonna let my feet drop, and then a little lift in the center of that eight. Feet drop, little lift. So my toes are drawing a figure eight, and right in the center, you're lifting the hips. So it's sneaking in that little reverse crunch. Lots of lower abs. Let your upper body relax. Try not to be straining with that neck as we often do. Start small, and if it feels pretty good, we're gonna make that eight a little bit bigger. So your circles get bigger, adding a little more of obliques. Little lift, little lift. Even if you want to go a little bit bigger, a little bit lower, just make sure that you're staying controlled, that you're not rolling off the mat or letting your body twist. Keep that back flat, but the legs are moving, engaging more of those obliques, internal obliques just on the outside of the abs. A couple more. Four. Three. Two. And one, good, hug the knees in. Excellent, guys, one more thing from here, then we're gonna turn to our sides. So another classic Pilates move, the roll up. So starting with my feet flat, I'm gonna give you two options. So hands are straight above the shoulders, big deep breath in, breath in. And then as I exhale, I'm using my abs to just lift the shoulders. Shoulders come over the chest, chest over the abs, abs over the hips. And then I'm stretching over into that front stretch. Hold this for a couple counts, back to center, straighten out on my spine, and then just slowly roll it down. So one more time, that's your first option. Your second option, inhale, exhale. It gets a little tough through here, I know, so just bring your fingertips down by your side, give yourself a little push, but still using the abs. And when you're back to center, hands out in front, fold it over the hips, Hold that stretch for a count or two. Back to center, straighten in the spine. And then right here, if you need the back support, some of us have some lower back problems or pain, you can just hold it there as well. So either option will do, with or without the hands. It's not cheating with the hands. Inhale, exhale, and lift. Just making sure that you're really taking it slow, really using your core the whole time. We don't wanna rush this. When we're rushing, we're using momentum and sometimes pulling too much with our back. So just take your time. This is all completely at your own pace. Exhale and lift. Pull the belly button in. Pull the door in the stretch. Back to center. Straighten your spine. And let's get two more. Breathe, inhale. Exhale and lift. Pull the door. Stretch. Back to center. Straighten the spine. And down, last one. Breathe, and lift, and pull it over. Let's just pull the stretch for a couple counts. Most of us are pretty tight in these hamstrings, so just take a couple deep breaths. I mean, each exhale, you're gonna sink a little deeper. Good work, guys. So let's flip over on our side a couple things from the side. So we're gonna start with your very basic side plank. So elbow beneath the shoulder, cross the top leg over, hand here for support, and lift the hips. If you can, we're gonna open out wide. If you need a little extra support, just drop that knee or drop the hand or both. Doesn't matter, we're just holding up. And then from here, we're gonna take that top hand, we're gonna reach it under, big scoop. 
it under and open up so nice and slow and controlled for reach. Making sure that we're keeping the hips up the whole time. We're not letting them drop. Two more. Reach. And lift. And last one. Reach. And hold it up. And slowly bring it down. Good job, guys. So, we're going to come all the way down. You can rest your head up on your hands. You can take that top leg, just bring that bottom leg. Flex the foot. I'm going to lift. Point down in front lift, point down and back. So the goal is not to move in the torso, just to let the leg do the moving. We're all pretty tight in those hips. So really trying to reach, flex, point, flex, point, a couple more. Flex, one more. Good, and then let's take this top leg Point that toe, hips are stacked, and we're just gonna do little tiny circles to the front. And then reverse your direction, little tiny circles to the back. So keeping it small. And then let's take it back to the front, a little bit bigger. And back to the back. A little bit bigger with that. Again, keeping the torso from moving, keeping it in the hips. Time to the front, a little bit bigger. And, and then lastly, with that outer thigh, we're going to bicycle it forward. So bring the knee forward, push back, knee, push back. So as you can probably tell, we're isolating all these small little muscles in the hip, in the outer thigh. One more. Okay. And then roll that knee forward, just kind of beat out on that muscle. There we go. One more thing from here, cross that top leg over. You can come up on the elbow if you want, lower leg, flex the foot, lift and lower. So this is more inner thighs. Again, we're isolating those side leg muscles and also obliques on the side. So, we'll go four, three, two, and then hold one. This one at the top, little pulses up, tiny little ones. Breathe. guys. So one more time, we're going to hold that side plank. So elbow, cross the top hand over, lift it up and hold, and we're here. So a couple of options. You can just hold, and you can hold with that knee or that hand or both if you want. But we're going to take that top arm, knee in, extend it out, knee in, extend it out. So it's a little tricky. You want to make sure those hips don't drop. Keep it up. swing our legs to the other side. We're going to do all that from the other side. So starting with the side plank from here, the very first one we did, cross the top leg over, elbow beneath the shoulder, lift it up and hold. So find your balance. Remember, if you need that knee or the hand, we're both totally fine. Extend that arm up, reach under, and take it up. Good. Reach under, rotating the shoulder, take it up, make sure you're breathing. Four, three, perfect. Two, one more. Excellent. Slowly bring it down. Good. So take it all the way down on the side and underneath. Let's take that top leg. Lower leg can be bent or straight as long as the hips are stacked. Flex the foot. Down in front. Flex. Right. 
flex. And you probably notice that one side has less flexibility. For me, it's my right side. I know my hips are really tight. That's why it's good to do these. Really trying to extend behind and in front without rotating my torso. Two more. Breathe. And last one. And then take that top leg, stack, point the toe, little tiny circles to the front. Working the outer thigh and little tiny circles to the back. And back to the front, a little bit bigger. There we go. Keeping it controlled and to the back. One last time, back to the front with the circles. A little bit bigger, but still controlled. And to the back, circle. Four, three, two, and into that bicycle. Pull the knee in, push it forward, extend it back. Knee, push, back. And again, I'm making sure that I'm not moving through the torso. reverse your direction. I'm going to kick the leg forward, bring the knee in, push it to the back. Kick forward. Guys. And two more. And last one. Perfect. Roll that knee over, just kind of beat out on that muscle right where we worked it. And then come up on the elbow, cross the top leg over. That should give you a little stretch. Flex the foot, lift and lower inner thighs this time. Abs are still pulled in. Perfect, guys. Really concentrating on keeping that muscle tight. Four, three, two, and then hold it up, little pulses, pulse. So those little isolated motions, eight, So one more time, side plank, and then we're in the home stretch. Elbow beneath the shoulder, cross the top leg over, lift it up and hold. So, hand can be here. We're gonna reach it over, elbow to knee. Extend it out, elbow to knee. If that feels like too much, just hold it, or drop the knee, or drop the hand. Keep the hips up for four, Almost done. So turn into your mat. We're on our hands and knees. So really good back strengthener exercise. So we're here. I take my opposite hand, opposite leg. So right hand, left leg, and I'm gonna contract it. Elbow to knee, extend it out. Elbow to knee, round in the back, then flatten out. Elbow to knee. Couple more. Four. Breathe. Two. Reach. Last one. And then hold it out. And I'm just going to lift the leg. So you can take that hand down, just squeezing in the glute. Then let's flex the foot. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Let's add a little arm, so walk your hands forward a little bit. Elbows in nice and tight. Small little tricep push. -up. So elbows in by your side. Keep the abs in tight. Keep that foot flexing up. And then we'll four. Elbows in. So we have a tendency to want to go out to that regular push-up because it's tougher. Two. One more. Stretch it back. I mean the tricep push-up is tough. <laughs> Push up is tougher, so we want to stay elbows in nice and tight. Bring it back up, same thing, other side. Right leg out, left arm out, elbow to knee, contract, and contract, 
and you can flat back, round. Four. Excellent. Three. Stand. Two. One more. And then hold it out. You can drop the hand down. Little lifts in the glute. Abs in tight. Flex the foot. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And then hold it here. Walk the hands forward just a little bit. Side pressure. Elbows in right by the side. So my foot is down. If that bothers the knee, you can bring your foot up. But keep that other leg up. Four, three, two. Perfect. Stretch it back. Child's pose. We're almost done. So from here, we're going to come all the way up in that front plank on the hands, on the toes. So we're here, everything is in, nice and tight. And I'm just gonna reach up with my left hand, bring it down, right hand, left foot, right foot. If that feels like too much, just hold it. I'm gonna take it down to the elbows, foot, and foot. So left hand, right hand, left foot, right foot, breathe, breathe. Stretch it back. One more thing from that plank position. We're gonna come all the way up. Take the feet, knees across. In, take it out. In, take it out. Breathe. Really exaggerate. Under, up. Twist. Four. Three. Child's pose. Whew. Very last thing. And then we're stretching. So, swimming. So, working all down the lower back. So, again with that opposite hand, opposite foot, left hand, right leg, bring it up. Right hand, left leg. So, start slow. Eyes are looking down. So, you're not pulling your back. And then, as you're ready, you can pick up the speed. Not too fast. Making sure you're breathing. Good, and we'll go four, three, two. Hold everything up at the top. Take the arms and legs out wide. Skydiving pose. Breathe. Four, three, two, and relax. Excellent work, guys. Up on the elbows. Just quick little stretch. It doesn't bother your back or your wrist. You can come up in that full cobra. Just be careful. Breathe. Shoulders relax. And sit back. Child's pose. Hips to the back. Reach the hands forward. Head and neck relaxed. Really reach those fingertips toward the edge of your mat so you get that stretch through the back. Hips low. Just like before, just press out gently and let your head relax. Chin to your chest, couple deep breaths. So we're stretching through the neck. And then bring it up. And just take your head to the side. Little stretch here. Again, not pulling, just kind of letting it drop. Center. So, I'm just going to reach over, look over my shoulder. So, ideally, if you can, I'm going to take that leg over, right leg over my left, and then turn towards the right. If that feels like too much, just keep it cross legged and just look over your shoulder. So, stretching through the neck, through the back, through the side. And then other 
side. So I'll switch it, left foot over, turning to your left, looking over your left shoulder. Feels like too much, just drop it down. back to center, legs straight, tight hamstrings like we talked about, reach up, big inhale, exhale, flex the feet, fold it over, and just like we did before, a few deep breaths, sinking a little deeper. Should be able to get a little lower on each exhale. Is your body fit by Amy? Matt Pilates workout. Great job, everybody.